Uh, in this tutorial, I will give an overview of a software called Modbus Explorer. This is an application that I have created uh, using the LabVIEW programming environment. So the, uh, the Modbus um, Explorer is part of a software package called Modbus Demo Software, which I have created using the LabVIEW uh, programming environment. So the Modbus Demo Software consists of the following applications, Modbus Demo Server, Modbus Demo Client and a Modbus Explorer. So, uh, as mentioned, this Modbus Demo software is created with the LabVIEW programming environment and it supports all four uh, Modbus registers, namely coils, discrete input, input register and holding register. And also the source code is available or if you prefer, you can only download and use the executable applications for the server, for the client and the Explorer. So you can uh, download the software from my web page. Just click on my web page here, uh, halvorsen.blog. Go into the web browser. And here is the start page of my web page. You can uh, get access to the Modbus um, software from this menu here in top. Click select uh, technology and Modbus, and then you will get access to it. Or you can click here on the resources and then you get a list of resources here and then you just select uh, Modbus. Then you go into the Modbus uh, page, which you see here. It gives an overview of Modbus in general. And then here you see you get an overview of the Modbus software. You also find a video tutorial here that uh, that gives detailed information and an overview of the Modbus soft demo software in general. You find a PowerPoint. Here you see uh, the Modbus demo server. Here you see the Modbus uh, demo client. And here you see the Modbus explorer. All these applications are part of uh, the Modbus demo software. So you can download the applications down here. So here you can run an executable application as, as a, in form of an installer. You just download the installer and start the installation and then you are ready to use these three applications. If you are interested in the source code on the LabVIEW project, you can also download uh, the entire source code here. So that's a short overview of the Modbus demo software and how we can install and start using it. So here you see uh, the Modbus demo server which supports the four different Modbus registers, coils, discrete input, input register and a holding register. And same for the Modbus demo server, it supports the same four registers. Detailed information about uh, the Modbus demo server and the Modbus demo client can be found in this tutorial. While uh, the focus in this tutorial is this uh, Modbus Explorer. Basically, uh, Modbus Explorer is another Modbus client, but here you can subscribe for specific uh, Modbus items. You can both read and write to those items, and you can also plot values. So here you see the Modbus Explorer. You just specify uh, the server address for the Modbus server here and the port, and then you can st start and stop the Modbus Explorer or the connection to the server. Then you can click here add in order to add a subscription for a specific Modbus item where you specify the name, register type, address, precision, etc. And then uh, automatically the values will be retrieved from the Modbus server here and presented in this uh, column. Or you can click the right button in order to write values to the Modbus server. And also the item you select in the list there will be plotted uh, above here. So here you see the entire LabVIEW project. Uh, so either if you have uh, downloaded the entire LabVIEW project or just the applications, if you only have downloaded applications, you will find uh, the Modbus demo server as an executable application, the Modbus demo, ser uh, demo client as an executable application, and finally, this Modbus Explorer as an executable application. In addition, I have made some shortcuts here on my desktop. So then let's just start these three applications. Let's start with the Modbus demo server. 
So I just open the Modbus demo server. I open the Modbus demo client, which is here. And finally, the Modbus explorer. So these are the three applications of the Modbus demo software package. So let's just start the Modbus uh, demo server by clicking the start button. And now you see I have the coil registers, the input registers, uh, the discrete input, and the input register, and the holding register. And also under settings, you can set the port for the server, but the default port is 502. So now the server is up and running. Let's also start the Modbus demo client. Here is typically specified IP address to the server, but since these three applications are now running on the same computer, I just type uh, localhost. And since the server are using the default port 502, I just leave the default port and then click start. And now you see here on the server, I can change the values for the coil register and you see it's updating on the client. I can also change the values here on, on the client and then you see the values are updating on the server. So the same for the other inputs, discrete input can only be changed on the server while it's read only on, on the client. And the same for the input register. I can change the values on the server and I can read the values here on the client, but it's read only here on the client. While for the holding register, I can change the value here on the server, but I can also change it here on the client. So basically that's how the Modbus demo server works and how the Modbus demo client works. In addition, I have created this Modbus Explorer, which is actually uh, also a Modbus client. So I just start the server by specifying localhost since the application is running on the same computer. And then I can add subscriptions to specific Modbus addresses. So then I can just click add here. So assuming we have a switch that is turned on or off and then uh, this typically is a coil register and it's a bit I start here you can specify the specific address I just use start by the start address which is zero and then you see this pops up here in the list I know here on on the either on this client I can change the value to true and then you see the values is updating here to true the same for the server, I can change it and then you see it's also updating here on the explorer and on the client. It also are showing uh, the result here in, in this plot. I can change the value back to true and then you see in both in the plot and here it, the value has been updated. I change it back to false and the plot goes back to, to zero. I can add a more, mo more Modbus item by clicking uh, add, or I can also edit an existing one, or I can remove it from the list. I can also write values here by clicking the write button. So I click the write button and then I have this um, item here. I can change it to true. And then you see it's updated here in the list, in the plot, and um, both on the server here and on the demo client. Let's add another item. I can assume we have a temperature sensor or something. And then you typically want to use the holding register. Then it can be specified to be a single since typically uh, a temporary value is a decimal value and I just use zero as the starting address click OK and then this one is here in the list so now you see the value is zero let's go to either the server or the client here specify a value here 22.6 degrees Celsius or something and then you see the value is updating here in the Modbus Explorer and also here on the Modbus demo client also see the value here is presented in in this plot I can also write a value here from this Modbus Explorer by clicking write and then I can write uh, 23.4 
degree Celsius, click OK, and then you see the value is updating on here and also on the server and on the demo client like this. So basically, uh, this is uh, a short presentation and demonstration of the Modbus Explorer, which is part of the Modbus demo software containing of a Modbus demo server, a Modbus demo client, and finally this Modbus Explorer. So that's all. Uh, so good luck with your Modbus applications and the use of the Modbus demo software. So if you want to use it, other executable applications, or if you want to download the entire uh, LabU project, just go to my webpage and download uh, the applications and start using this uh, software. Thank you and goodbye.